should know this. This is like the millionth time I'm running for something. So, I mean, one of these years I might not be here to actually run something, God forbid. Uh, that picture pretty much sets the tone for the rest of the presentation. So, yeah, uh, re elect me as events officer, even though I'm VP currently, because that's the thing in general. YouTube. Uh, yeah, uh, basically, I'm going for events officer, which used to be uh, an old position on the council, but this year we thought we'd try something like that and get rid of it, but we want the extra hands and just want to give you a little rundown of what the events officers have been. So, you know, we've had uh, Necro Fisher, uh, the two people in here who know what that is. Yeah. We've had Stephen Ward, <laughs> uh, we've had Tom Lum for all of the week. <laughs> <laughs> we've also had Steve, Steve. Spider. <laughs> and we've had a can of Monster that was uh, auctioned off at the 24 hour event. We had another can of Monster <laughs> auctioned off at the same 24 hour event. <laughs> we had a sweater vest, only really about two people know about that one, he was very short lived. Uh, a balloon after the second 24 hour event, which was popped by its successor which was a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping to uh, succeed this tree, uh, you know, turn a new leaf. <laughs> I think I'm forgetting someone, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Any, does anyone know? Moving on, no. Uh, get a bit scared of the series now. Okay, so for those who don't know, uh, I'm just going to do a little rundown. I'm in my third year of uh, computer science and I'm going on to a fourth year of MCOM. That's why I'm still going to be stuck around and be old and decayed more so than this year. Uh, been on the council for a stupid amount of time. Started out as VP, which was like halfway into November in my second year. Um, the president disappeared, so I had to run for that. I then had to run for it again because. Uh, uh, it was the next year, my third year, or well, last year, and uh, then I'm VP again, so you could say I was a VP, PP, VP, <laughs> which is a good role to have. Um, yeah, for, for those who know, who probably very few of you, along with Alex, a uh, very dark period for LGS where it came close to actually being disbanded, nice little bit of trivia there for you, where one of the sessions we actually had about six people in, I think. I still have the nightmares. Yes. <laughs> We live them, do no, uh, Yes, yeah, so there was a session that had about six people in, if you can imagine that, and it was in the SU's office. I think it was four. So it was you, me, Gaz, yeah. Ward B, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it was an awful period where we lost our rooms because room booking basically went on this mad tirade against us. Okay, and uh, Alex and I like, out, out of our, went out of our own way to basically save the society because it meant that much to us and we didn't like seeing all these people on Facebook sort of messaging up in arms going, oh, what's happening? I don't like what's going on, this is making me sad, this is making me cry, blah blah blah. And we wanted to basically bring it back and that's when it kind of became apparent to me just how much I cared about LGS. And it was something that I clearly wanted to do well and was always going to invest a load of time in. Um, yeah, uh, I mean I've done a lot in LGS already, as you've seen the PPVP thing. I'm going to it's a mouthful to say again. Um, I've done a lot for it, as I'm, I hope a lot of you picked up on. No, not at no, all. No, I've never done a thing, never lifted a thing once. Um, no, you know, I've helped change the sort of <laughs> landscape that LGS is seen as. I've sort of taken what uh, Adam Bannister sort of set in place for me to basically make LGS branch out and not be seen as like a group of about 10 nerdy types all just playing Smash on 3DSs. <laughs> um, yeah, and um, I was nicknamed sort of early sort of last year, academic year, uh, hashtag ideas guy, because I can just, if you go, uh, we need a theme night like this week, I can literally sit on the spot and just go do this, which I think you can back me up on. But I basically pull ideas out of my ass. Um, it works off a bit. Uh, so, you know, I'm, in that sense, I'm a reliable guy. If you go, oh crap, for whatever reason, uh, a retro night can't happen because, say, we were doing the Gotham games and they had to pull out because one of them was going on holiday or something or ill. I could turn around and just think of something on the spot, just suggest a challenge or a new tournament. If you were having a tournament that people were excited for, I could just sort of throw something out there and get something sort of quite last minute. An example being the Halloween pranks we do every year. The first one I took part in, uh, the day of it happening, or the day before, the uh, socials and media decided to tell me we don't have any zombies. The whole prank was zombies running into a room. That's kind of the whole thing. And I got about 15 people to be zombies, got the makeup with Alex and had an oxy ox spring for those who know Sean, uh, helped do the makeup. It was all done on the spot in the day, so you can sort of depend on me in sort of bad situations basically. 
Yeah, just a little bit what, uh, about what I've already done, just to uh, elaborate on that. Uh, this year I was a massive part in getting partners and sponsors. I wanted to branch out, make, as I've said, LGS more than just a small group of people gaming. I wanted to get like shops involved, like game or brands. You know, Gotham Games, we already had as a partner. I wanted to get like the actual game uh, brand linked to us, get it on like membership cards somewhere down the future. Uh, we're in talks now with Wildcard. It's basically set a precedent this year, which Bob and I will be doing a lot more with hopefully next year. Yeah. Um, we're basically, we just have people who want to get involved, you know. We're pushing ourselves out there. We're becoming quite a well-known uh, brand, actually. We're increasing every year, and um, we were like plugged on special effects website in like a nice newsletter so we're actually getting ourselves out there much more than how we've been perceived in the past. Um, event structure, you know, the frequency of theme nights as opposed to previous years where there'd be lots of bringer and game nights. We're getting tournaments, theme nights, things for people to actually do and get their hands on. Um, you know, the mini challenges like uh, pr past years have been like trials HD and stuff like that, like time trials. Um, yeah, I want to get more, uh, getting it more involved with other societies like assassins we've had the uh, uh play zone event uh, i i like getting involved with the societies i like um different friend groups sort of mixing and overlapping and basically finding other people who might have a good uh, a lot of amount of interest in similar things that they do things like that and also i made LDS sort of more stand out as um a factor in su meetings because as i'm sure a lot of you know they screw up a lot they don't listen it's going on YouTube, don't care. Um, they, they, they screw up a lot, they do. And we, they basically need us to sort of nudge them in the right direction. And LGS is now more one of the more vocal bodies in like the pre-meeting meetings that we do, alongside debating and <coughs> jams and other societies that are becoming large. Oh, Gilbert. I'm just waiting for your question later on. Um, we're, we're a much like, bigger impact now than we ever could have been because of this sort of uh, aura that we go on. Uh, just a few things that I want to sort of actually continue bringing or bringing new. Um, I can see a lot more area for change in LGS. Like with, this year's sort of been like a stepping stone of sorts. So the council we sort of pushed it in the direction where it could be bigger. It could invite more members in who want to you know, say the the guy who's played FIFA once in his life. Sort of going to what Wilson said. Someone who may have just touched a mobile game won't feel put off because we're basically seen as a I guess cooler for lack of a better word society now. You know, people want to sort of come and take part. I, I think that we can get to that point, as Wilson's probably dreaming about, that anyone at all who maybe just sat down and played Magic the Gathering once with a friend who gave them a deck, and they're like, I really enjoyed that. They can come and take part. Um, so with, with partners, I want to get more stuff so, uh, sorted out, like with game, like we're trying to get 10% uh, discount with game, and they're really interested in helping us out in the future, and obviously if you can get 10% off a of PS4 or something, which you've wanted to get for the last year or so, that would be amazing, and I want to continue to see this uh, evolve, like um, relationships with partners. Obviously, more partners would mean more discounts, which would be awesome. Maybe even getting previous discounts, like with Gotham Game, a higher amount, like 20% of Gotham or something like that. Um, obviously, going for events, officer, I basically want to take a back seat to obviously being president of ICE in the past few years, and basically focus on getting ourselves doing more outside of just like the Wednesday and Friday sessions, doing more expos, promoting things like EGX or Play Expo, uh, collaborations with other societies, basically push those more and become a society that does them frequently throughout the year. Not like, they're not just going to be milestones in a semester, like one big thing a semester sort of thing like that we've done the past years, like maybe one a month or something, or one fortnight. Um, yeah, more advertising, push the name out there, um, it's a good society, it's got a lot of potential, it's gaming, as um, I think Reese Wilson said, you know, it's gaming, it should be huge, and it can be huge, we're in the right direction, um, if you tell people we do this, we raised a grand for special effect over the course of two events, that's amazing, you know, massive pat on the back for you guys that came and donated to that, that's something that we couldn't do uh, on our own, and the way we're going, we can raise twice that. Um, I remember sitting in a meeting uh, this year, in a council meeting, and we sort of joked about one of 25 events could eventually fill uh, the engine shed, and I sort of joked about that with uh, Chapman. And we sort of sat there, and, well we sort of thought, we joked about it, and then we said, that could actually happen. At some point in the future, that could be a thing, we could fill out the engine shed, that could be a fourth huge dream. fourth dream. Fourth dream. The dream is real. 
We could fill our engine shed, I think. We could raise three, five times that. So obviously, it's not going to be um, the society I'm part of now because we're in sort of growing phases right now. But I feel I want to be the sort of driving force that helps that become a possibility in the future. And then obviously, if we can advertise more, we can get more funding. That means more prizes and things for tournaments and spending more on coaches for expos. And also, get more prizes. We also get more fun. Yeah, more prizes, more fun. Um, so just a little bit of uh, why I think I should be suitable for this role uh, this year. I mean, I've got a strong proven track record from my years already. Uh, I was dubbed by the sort of alumni for anyone who knows like Pardew and Rob Jones and that. I was sort of referred to as the golden child for a good two months in oh, yeah. my first year of being on the council when I helped uh, pull it back with Alex, which I'm bitter at him. You've got all the credit. You've got some. Um, so yeah, obviously being nicknamed something like that is really humbling and it's always made me, as I've said, it's always made me want to uh, put in the effort for LGS and always try hard. Um, I've sort of, helped, I like to think, anyway, I sort of set a structure of councils, basically made it so when someone runs for something they know they want to go for it. It's not just sort of someone going, oh I fancy going for media because why not? I wasn't you, I'm just saying to you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, there's people in the past with societies, it would be like a small affair where you go, oh, are you running for something? Yeah, I might go for VP just because why not? You know, people who run for stuff now, they want it. Like, everyone today's done amazing presentations. Like, you can tell they want it. You can tell if they don't get it, they're going to be gutted. And I like to think that I've helped bring in that sort of mentality uh, with the other councils. What's that space for? No? Oh, All right, never mind. Um, next point. Um, yeah, I mean, achievements, uh, granted, they have been fairly confusing, but we had to basically pull it out of a dark pit of non-existence and tiny league systems. They were there in my first year, they were really fun, and I basically thought they were really great things to bring back. So I've definitely been one of the main sort of local uh, factors for bringing those back. 24-hour um, events are really entertaining things now. We've, as I've said, we've raised £1,000 collectively for a charity, which I never thought I was going to do before uni. I don't know if any of you guys thought at some point I'm going to raise a thousand pounds for charity by gaming. I never thought I was going to do that and I think that's amazing. Um, getting the partners, logos on the back of the t-shirts, I, I was definitely one of the people who wanted to get that sorted because it's getting us out there. And again, just that's, that's good reason for why cool ideas going for theme nights, stuff like that. Um, yeah, experience is invaluable. Um, I know pretty much everyone who's running for stuff this year kind of wants me on the council. So remember your little quick be on it, run for something you said to me, didn't you? Yeah. Don't lie. Don't lie on YouTube. <laughs> but you know, like, it's, again, it's another thing that's quite humbling because people basically wanted me back on council just so they could have my opinion, they could have my sort of work ethic, um, just from what I've done already, they want to see what else I can do, what else I can keep bringing, because um, the drive is still there. I don't know why, because I have to work for the SU, so I should be done with it by now, but I guess I'm masochistic, but either way, um, you know, I've made LGS, I like to think it's big, Gilbert, I like to think LGS is big. Um, you know, it's, it's always, it's got 100 plus members every year that I've been on the council. Um, that's an amazing thing to be able to tell people, uh, especially like newer societies who you're giving pointers on how to grow and build. Um, I, I always want to make sure that LGS is doing its best. I always want to put the maximum effort into things like events, making sure they're doing as well as they possibly could do. And if they fail for whatever reason, making sure the alternatives are there. Um, yep. Anything else? Uh, yeah, I mean, as I said, uh, back when I helped save it in 2012, um, it became that much apparent to me, that much more apparent, rather, that it's really important to me, LGS. You know, it's probably the largest factor um, in my uni experience. I mean, to go back to what Wilson said, it's like grades are just numbers. Poeing a lot of people in my... If I went first, my presentation would be terrible. <laughs> um, but no, you know, grades are just numbers. It's about the people you meet. It's about what activities you take part in at university that counts. And being someone that can make those activities for you, stealing your line again, it's really humbling, you know. When you get those people clapping at how much has been raised at 24 hours, you know, it puts a smile on my face. It makes me realise I'm doing the right sort of thing. And there's no way I'd never want to run for something if I'm still at uni. I'm definitely going to go for something again because it's quite possibly the best thing I've ever been a part of. All of the different councils I've been on, 
for better or worse, have been great groups of people. Better or worse. <laughs> Generally. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a huge part of my life I'll never forget. But yeah, um, I really hope you guys uh, vote me in because if you just click once more, I do hear that that wrong guy kicks puppies and laughs at all people follow. He also steals vodka from problems. He does, he's a terrible guy. But um, yeah, on that note. Any questions? Um, any questions for the old. Andy can go last. Gilbert? No, Gilbert can go no, first. No, Gilbert's going first. Okay. <laughs> as, a, as a third year, like yourself. Yes. Uh, you, you're saying about ex. Oh, Xmas. Uh, Xmas. Well, no, you're talking about X way by. Ex girlfriend. What? <laughs> I'm going to mess you, Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the vet running here. Hey, I'm a third year. <laughs> I'm on two councils as well. Uh, I, I, was oh, waiting, I was waiting for SVP. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not like You should be. Well, he won't president. president. I want out. Anyway, yeah, so as X. So, yeah, uh, you're still my expos. And, uh, one of the biggest ones which I'll just to the coach for, the MCM Expo. What, what would that be on your agenda? Uh, uh, that, the anime comic book and... Da, 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 Sabo's also doing it. And the side by side is all our own the coaches or like collaborations to go to the MCM Expo event, but Jack LGF doesn't. I mean I never want to like step on toes because I've always seen MCM as like jams this thing, which I would not say if Dave were not here. Um, no, like I mean it's definitely something I'd like to be in a collaboration with, but I've always seen that as their sort of uh, feather in the cap. That's like their main thing, and I'd never want to sort of take that away from them and say it's our thing as well. I mean, I'd always be open to suggesting the idea of going with them or going with comics as well, because I know they now start going to it as well, because they're starting to get a lot of steam and are doing quite well. It's quite a new emerging society, but now I mean, like, as, far, as far as experts go, MCM, I definitely want to get us going at some point. It's just the case of whether the Gems would be okay with that. Reese. <laughs> so, in your presentation, you said you were good at um, coming up with on the spot. Throw me an event. Anime night. Because it didn't happen. Comics man. Technically happened last comics week. Comics night. Technically happened last week. Oh uh, yeah, it'll be comics night. Because I like to think that when an idea doesn't happen and it's pushed away, that you pull it back as soon as possible. Andy. Hello. Oh, you fucking. Hello. Oh. Sorry to God, Andy. What is your biggest weakness? I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, honest answer, I guess I would say, I'm because I've been on the council for as ungodly amount of time as I have been, um, I guess, only three, um, I guess I'm quite set in my ways, I mean I have like an idea of where I see the council going, maybe even like irregardless of who's being voted in or what their points are, obviously I'm not just going to completely ignore them because I, I've been a very good council member this year, haven't I? Thank you. Um, but no, it's like I've kind of got this like idea in my mind of what I want to see out of a media officer. I keep using, I don't know why I keep using it. You love me that much, so. I do, I keep thinking about it. Um, you know, I have an idea of what I want a VP to be doing um, because I've done the role. Uh, I have an idea of what I think the president should be doing and I'll be fairly vocal on that. So I guess you can see it as stubbornness but also experience at the same time. So it's kind of like a, a toss up on those regards. David? Oh, kill me. Um, um, as a uh, thing for best quote to know, it's from Reese saying that you don't know about your legacy until you actually, you, you've done it. But as we know, as we know up to now, your legacy's been quite prolific, really. You essentially say no, yes. Quite. What? Quite prolific. Yeah. Uh, it's a you know, uh, but, so, it's almost like, because you've got quite a big shoes to fill in, your own shoes, what are you going to do next year just to like, ensure <coughs> yeah, this keeps up sort of thing? Um, over the last couple of years I feel like I've been almost like synonymous with LGS, like you can't really think of it without me, not to be big headed, I but fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the first swear word in the presentation. <laughs> um, thanks Alex. Um, I've become quite synonymous and it's more so next year I don't want to be as big a presence as like president, that's why I'm going for events. I want to be the sort of type who is nurturing the council 
to give it like a new fresh sort of like you know because it's like if I because I've been on the council so long and I've always been one of P or VP in a way you might expect me to be the um, template uh, candidate for it you might think as a face you need to be outgoing as like a president rather you need to be quite outgoing um, because I've always come across that way we've seen presidents in the past who are just really strong workforces who do a lot so I'd say for this next year um, I more want to be about just getting the new guys um, ready and hopefully the ones who are going to be here a third year will want to rerun again because you're in first years aren't you? you do. Well then, never mind. But yeah, I mean I basically, I want to basically, it's almost like a Passover where I want to basically do what I love the most in LGS which is coming up with ideas while not being the focus because I feel like I've been it for long enough now that I should let someone else have that spotlight that everyone has been using. That term yeah, to like. I will kill you, Ben. No. Ben, you got me. Yeah. Well, you got to uh, the past year. Obviously, you've been on the council for so long. Yeah. And the past year, stop. And the past year, um, we had quite a lot to do, and you did drive quite a bit behind that as well. But that got quite stressful, which the council did see as well. And I know we got stressed. How will you deal with that stress this year? I will shout at you. I guess I guess it kind of plays quite well in today's question uh, yeah. on what I'm going to do next year, like legacy-wise, because I'm not going to be a president or vice. I'm not going to feel I have to um, get myself to that level of stress because that's kind of me not taking a break. Like, I won't run for a position. Yeah, like um, it's more I'm going to be the old grizzled veteran of the council who is deaf in one ear and can't hear when people are fucking up, so I won't know. Um, <laughs> Second so I'll worry about the now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, no, I mean, like, we've already got an improvement in the fact we've got five people. Yeah. So that's going to completely shake up the fact that it's going to be a much more balanced workload and yeah. there's going to be more people to uh, get stuff done. There'll be more people to take flack as well. But... Um, mm -hmm. No, I'll, I'll have more people to work with, I'll have more people to uh, be dependent on me and more people to depend on. So in that way I've got like two different outlays for lack of stress. Okay, uh, lastly Chapman. Okay, so as you pointed out, um, this role has quite an illustrious history with some very fine candidates having already filled it, except Fisher actually never was one. I lied, I couldn't find a Fisher Cade, he doesn't exist you, anymore. You lied. But anyway, my question is, what uh, lessons will you have learned from the people who have previously taken up that role and not inanimate objects? Actually do something. <laughs> That'd be a good start. Make well, you're unofficial. No, oh, it's... I know. It's, you can make I know. <laughs> um, well, see, the thing with events officers in the past is the reason I said the whole thing of people would just run for something before we got to this level. They go, I fancy going for that. Yeah, why not? Uh, I want events officers to be the guy who comes in and goes... I have all these ideas for external things to do on a Saturday. I have all these ideas I want to do for tournaments. I have all these ideas that we should be doing. Why haven't you done it yet? I don't want it to be seen as like the weakest link of the council, because it kind of has been in past years. You know, people always joke about old oh, Pete never did anything. Oh, war, war'd be only ever booked to shed social a couple of times. I don't want it to be that. I want events to be the one who is doing all the external stuff as well. So like anything with game, I want to be the main factor getting them involved. I want to be the main person booking coaches, as it always should have been. It was a role that was kind of left out to die in the cold. Um, yeah, but uh, no, I need to answer that. I just want to make it a legitimate role. I want to give it legitimacy for the first time in a while. It may happen one year. It would be nice, and if anyone can do it, it's probably me. All right then, go get Jack me a round of applause, please.